This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, I'm going to show you how to beat any boss in the game super, super easy. Let's get to it. So I've done guides before showing how to beat bosses, but it involves doing some clipping nonsense and it's a little janky and all over just all around janky ways to, to screw up the AI or what have you. This method I'm going to show you today, no jank to it. It's pretty much straightforward and super easy. So in my last Let's Play episode of this, which I will link down in the description, if you haven't been watching that Let's Play, you should totally check it out. It's a lot of fun and uh, we're constantly discovering new things. Like I realized in the last episode how completely OP the Corpse Run buff is. And then I had a commenter, which you see on the screen here, talk about how you could just easily kill yourself a bunch of times and stack up a bunch of graves and bam, there you go, bosses are easy. So uh, that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna run you through how to do that and uh, some things you need to keep in mind for whatever boss you are fighting uh, because there's a little bit more nuance to it than just dying a bunch of times. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to get rid of everything out of our inventory and I'm gonna use the bone mass first and then I'll show you how to, to do the other ones. You wanna have a little, little area set up with a spawn point in it so you can see here we have our bed we set our spawn now for bone mass it's super easy to just build up in a tree just build up in a tree higher than what he can reach use that as your little spot it's really good for over here in the swamp the other bosses we'll cover those here in a minute so then what you want to do is have a chest put all your stuff in the chest you want to grab one stone that's it just one put it in your inventory you need to have an item in your inventory you're gonna make sure you haven't eaten in a while and that your health is super low then you're just gonna jump from the high spot and die. Now you're like, but Firespark, aren't I going to lose some skill points for dying? Yes, but only the first time because you're all set up and you're ready to go. You have your spot, you have some stone or some wood or whatever. And once you die that first time, that's your only loss that you're going to suffer because now you have the no skill drain. That lasts for a good solid 10 minutes that you can just rinse and repeat this over and over and over again. And if you're fast enough, you can also have it throughout the boss fight just in case something terrible happens, you won't lose any more points. So that is kind of the trade-off there that you, you give for being able to do this and being able to fight any of the bosses super easy. So we have four graves down there right now. That should be good for what we're gonna do here, at least for bone mass. I'm gonna grab, now this is food that you're gonna be using. You can get all of this relatively easy here. Uh, for this fight, honestly, you don't need anything crazy because the corpse run buff makes you stupid strong. Poison resist, just gonna help make you even more tankier than you're already going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat up all of our food here and you want to make sure you have the rested buff, all of that stuff, maybe even some stamina mead. All of that's going to help make all of this go even smoother. I'm not going to worry about the rested buff because I want to show you how ridiculous this is without it that you don't even need it. We're going to be all this negative stuff and we're still going to absolutely destroy this guy. So we're going to walk up here. We are going to sack the withered bone. All right, there we go. We're gonna wait for him to spawn before we go running in there. And I'm actually going to wait until he comes over here. I don't have a shield or nothing. All I have is basic iron armor and a mace, iron mace that has been upgraded one time. That is all you need. All right, so he has spawned and uh, we're gonna wait for him to come over here. He should work his way over here. Now this lasts for uh, 50 seconds, so we grab it. We got 50 seconds of time now. Now we are basically godlike for 50 seconds. You can see here, the corpse run buff is absolutely ridiculously OP. Okay, I'm gonna kite him up here a little further. And I haven't even, I didn't even drink the the poison resist mead. You don't, technically don't even need it. Although stamina potions are going to make this go a lot smoother. As you can see, we are having serious stamina issues without any of the rested buff or stamina potions. But the important thing to keep in mind here is not that. The important thing to keep in mind is look at my, look at my damage. Look at it. But the damage that I'm taking, I have no... I did not drink the poison resist pot. I didn't do anything and he absolutely can't do anything. It, the buff just ran out. We're just going to hit up another one of our graves and we're gonna go back over here and uh, just tear into him some more.
And there we go. Look at that. I didn't use any of the poison resist. I didn't just ate good food and had the corpse run buff. And there you go absolute piece of cake. All right, so now let's cover the other bosses. So Motor and Elder are pretty much the same thing. You can do the same thing. So when you are making your little setup uh, for their area, so your bed and your portal, all of that, all you have to do is just dig below their altar. Now you can do this for Yagi Boy as well, although it's a little iffy depending on where Yagi spawns at, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But for the most point, you're not going to have this problem with Motor, and you should not have the problem with the Elder. Uh, if you do there, you can use the same technique that I'm going to show you for Yagi Boy when it comes to if you cannot dig under because of water. So all you have to do, set your spawn point up right below, set your portal up right below, and then to die over here in motors area is super easy. Put all of your, build a little um, chest down in the bottom somewhere down here, put all of your stuff in it, and then just come out here and stand out in the open after you haven't eaten. You'll lose 25 HP in 25 seconds and die and then leave your grave wherever. And you don't have to worry about these graves. They cannot be destroyed. I've tested it thoroughly. They're invulnerable to any any attacks. So you should be fine just to leave them out in the open for the fight. If you want to speed it up a little more though, you can set up something where you can jump a little higher if you're worried that you're going to not get as many graves as you want out and about here just waiting for your health to run down. But it should be relatively relatively easy for you to just find something to take some fall damage or kite something over like uh, one of those little drakes or a wolf or something like that to the area. All right, so we are over here at uh, my Yagthul area here. And if we dig down here, you can see he's really close to water. But if we dig down, you can see that it is possible to get underneath of his summoning altar which if you can and you're not too close to water, you can just do the same thing that I suggested for motor. Get under here, set up your spawn point, all of that. It's gonna keep your portal, it's gonna keep your spawn, all of that stuff safe. If for some reason you are next to the water like I am here and you cannot dig underneath of the platform, and this goes for if for some reason the elder should show up there as well. Most of the time, every time I've seen the elder, it's been plenty far enough inland that I haven't had that issue. But just in case, because it is random seed, you never know if this happens just find a rock like this and dig underneath of it and then do your little setup for respawning here and then from that point for yag it's super easy to just build a platform on one of these fingers run and jump and run and jump same thing with the elder for the elder you would just build a platform on a tree and run and jump honestly taking fall damage with no health is the quickest way of dying if you don't believe how ridiculous the corpse run buff is let me show you so i'm here i'm in iron armor we're at yag i'm going to well, actually drag that up there. We're going to place all of these things in the altar here. Now, I'm still in the bone mass level tech that we are in right now, right? Okay, so let's let's summon him. Let's grab our mace. Let's wait for him to spawn. I have a uh, corpse or a uh, grave right here so we can activate it. I'm going to wait until he gets up all the way out of there before we activate it so we can get as much use out of it as possible. All right, here we go. So we're just going to grab that. And we're going to come over here and we're going to start wailing on him. All right. Uh, he hit us. Uh, we're on fire. Remember, I'm in iron. I'm in all iron with an iron mace. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? How you doing over there? Is that it? Is that all you got for me there, Yag? All right. Let's drink this. Look at, look at our health. Look at our health. It's already back up. It's it just, we don't have anything to stop us from being caught on fire. I mean, you can imagine if we just had the fire pots, how much of a difference it would make. All right, we got 10 seconds. So I'm gonna walk out of the way here and we're gonna get the next one. All right, it's reactive. And uh, let's go back over here. Oh uh, yeah, just, uh, I don't even care. I don't even care. So I think you get the idea. We're going to kill him because uh, I think I've made my point. It's uh, it's super busted and crazy strong. Look at that. We just took all of that to the face and it did not manage to kill us. And that is using bone mass level tech and food. 
that's insane. If you can't understand how incredibly overpowered that is, uh, I'm not sure what to tell you, but uh, that's how you can use it. Like I said, though, there is the trade-off that you will use lose skill points every time you die, so you have to sacrifice those in order to pull this off, but in my opinion, that kind of makes the whole thing a little more balanced overall because every time you go fight a boss you're gonna you're gonna do that but it is going to make the boss fight an absolute cakewalk if for whatever reason you are having problems with it all right hopefully you found this video helpful and informational if you did consider hitting the subscribe button notification bell all that good stuff all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode i want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on patreon for making this episode possible y'all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching